In the new season best, uh, how did how did you feel out there? Yay. Happy with the race? Good, yeah, I'm really happy that. I think that's my second fastest time ever behind our British record in the Olympic final. So, yeah, I can't complain at the end of the season, you know, running that and coming over um, coming over to the States. So, yeah, really, really happy. I thought it was a bit, a bit of a scrappy race. Had a bit of a scrappy start, but I'm used to that now. But I think, I think I'm in PB shape, but you just need a really smooth race, and I was a bit scrappy, but I'm very happy how I ran that, yeah. So, so scrappy, you're referring to some bumping going on out there? Yeah, the start, I got pushed around quite a lot. And then I just had to, the pace slowed a wee bit, and then sped up a wee bit, and it, so it wasn't like smooth smooth but yeah it's actually 500 meter racing for you so but yeah really happy to run that time and come third against well two world medalists as well confidence wise after that 800 and zero how did you feel about that race and just coming into this final yeah this time of year it's always like it could go really well or really badly <laughs> you don't know how your legs are going to hold out so i was hoping that you know zurich and brussels went really well i was hoping i had one more on the legs you know the travel is tough and things but i thought you know i'm coming to come here and come go out with a bang and yeah, I think that's the best I've run at pre for a long time, so I'm super happy with that. What you ran on your hip? Oh, so just my my like times for like my warm up, and then my friend, my friend Jess Judge, she said said to me before, it's like a running joke, it's like stay stay spicy, like stay hot, you know, stay <laughs> racing. So I just put stay spicy on my hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your plans to uh, take the uh, celebrate now that the season's over? Yeah. Well. A few, me and a few of the girls from here are going to Hawaii on Monday, so we thought this is about as close as you can get, and it's really unusual to finish the season here. So yeah, we're going to go there on Monday, which will be really nice. Yeah. Which island? We're going to do Oahu, then Kaui, I think it's called. So a couple of them. Well, don't miss out on Dukes in Oahu because that's Dukes. the place. That's the place to go. For, okay, for thank food. you. We'll are, that. are you ever able, from giving your schedule, to do any veterinary work in the season? No, unfortunately not. I qualified in 2018, with and when I qualified, I did aim to do to do some, but. Track and fields are so busy and veterinary so busy, they're both they're both life careers as such. Sure, sure. I wouldn't want to go half hearted in either of them. So doing doing running full time just now and we'll see where veterinary goes there. Is it hard to pump the brakes when it's like second fast time ever, like yeah. season's fast and it's like alright now that season's over, like yeah. to end the season and like have to restart again? Yeah. Like, is that difficult? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready for this to be my last one. Yeah, I was ready for this to be my last one. It's, I know I'm in really good shape, but I think you got to I think respect my body and I know I'm getting tired even though I'm running really well I can feel it so no today is a good time to call it reset have a good holiday and the next year is a big one so I think finish on a high is a good place to be. Congratulations.